When you're done doing really nice coloring on your background and your cat, you're ready to start putting everything together. So for this demonstration, mine are not completed, but yours should be. We will start by cutting our cat face out. So remember when you cut to go nice and slow and turn your paper with your paper hand, don't so much turn your scissors. So our scissors are basically just opening and closing, that's all. So carefully cut it out so it stays a nice cat shape and don't cut off your black line. When it's all nice and cut out, flip it over and you're going to just add dots of glue around the edge. It's so extremely important to focus on your edge, not the middle part, because the edges are what pop up and kind of stick off our project. So small dots all the way around, flip it over, and you wanna try and get it as close to the middle as possible. And that means that you should have about the same amount of space on the sides as you do the top and the bottom. So before you really press it down on there, make sure that it is pretty even. And then if it's stuck on there good, carefully flip it and rub the back of your project to get it really nice and flat. As a final little fun thing to add to our project, I have some glitter glue. And there are a variety of colors, but just remember that they really look all pretty much the same. So you can put them in little blobs, like small, small blobs, okay? And then you can take your finger and you can spread the glitter out so it is in different spots. If you do this on top of oil pastel, just be careful not to smear the oil pastel. So just be gentle when you're spreading it with your finger. And you'll probably be able to see this better when you're doing it in person than right here right now. So I used the green just now, but I wanted to show you that it looks pretty similar when I use the blue. So we're not all concerned about the color of the glitter because it really looks pretty much the same on top of any colors. So you can put it around or on the cat's face. And as long as you're using small dots, I don't mind that you use it everywhere, but if we get too carried away, then I have to remove the glitter glue and I can't let you use it if you're just wasting and using big blobs. And when you're done applying your glitter glue, if you choose to do so, then you carefully place it on the drying rack.